Okay, this is Julie here for Seconds Out, buzzing to be joined by Tyler Denny, English middleweight champion. Not so long since your victory against River Wilson Ben in the rematch on Sky Sports. It was the big night, the biggest night of your career so far. Um, how are you feeling after what was what was so much hard work all wrapped into one amazing night? Obviously, you had the Derek Osazi win already, but but what was on Sky Sports just felt like it was all so many years of hard work all into one night, and it was it was it was yeah. the other week. Yeah, Defo, like you said, there's a bit of needle to this one as well. So if there was one fight I wanted to win out my whole career, like even if there's no title on the line, it wanted to be this one. Do you know what I mean? Um, the title's nice and stuff, but it, it was a bit more than that. It was like I didn't want to. I didn't want the abuse online and stuff, do you know what I mean? Not saying that he's got some, but, that you know, that bit of banter, that bit of needle, you lost to this guy, especially after we both, we both talk a bit of crap to each other, do you know what I mean? So it, it was nice, mate, as a relief, especially after that first fight. I was um, more than annoyed with uh, how that went, so a bit of justice. Yeah, for sure. The first fight was entertaining as well, but when it went to the scorecards after the second, were you confident that it was you who had that? At point victory. Normal circumstances, I would have, but after that first fight, and then that judge, the first judge, give it to River by two rounds, and that was with a point off as well. So I was thinking, oh my god! But the way they read it, you kind of know it was going to be a split. So I was thinking, I thought it was going to be a draw again at the beginning. Do you know what I mean? But the last guy was Kevin Parker, and I, I do write him as a judge and as a ref. So I was confident when I heard his name come out. Talk to me about the feeling afterwards because oh, I'm gone. Some god, we get rid of this. <laughs> That's one of my coaches trying to ring me now. No <laughs> I was just about to ring Paul up actually. Yeah, um, was it him calling? No, nah, Ben. Do you know Ben? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so what I was, yeah, what I was going to say is the feeling after when you were doing the interview on Sky Sports, you could see how much it meant to you. What were you feeling in that moment where? you were getting the interview done because it just looked like a feeling of euphoria. Yeah, it was, man. I couldn't, I couldn't, like, if I could wrap that feeling up and take it somewhere with me, I, I would, do you know what I mean? But you got to get back. Like, at that time, I was the happiest man alive, do you know what I mean? There was, there was nothing that could have beat that, no matter of money or whatever. I just wanted to get that win. Um, but, like, it's been a few weeks now and I'm back in the gym grinding away, just waiting on the next day. But I need, I need... I don't want to get carried away with that win because, like I say, that's English level. And I believe I'm above that level, but it's up to me to prove it. Do you know what I mean? So, um, and yeah, with every, the way my coach are, well, they're on me already. Do you know what I mean? There's been some you know, some praise and some constructive criticism about the fight, but, you know, we've got to keep moving, keep pushing. There's the likes of Nathan Heaney, Brad Ray at the weight. Um, have you looked at any of these other domestic fights and thought this could be what's next? Um, I don't think I'll ever fight Eni. Um, I would personally like, but we're both BCB. Yeah. Of um, course. so I, I don't think that'll happen realistically. Yeah. Um, and you know, he's on his path. I don't know if he's going down the IBO route or whatever. Like, do you know what I mean? Which um, fair play to him. But um, yeah. Brad Ray, I've I've seen him calling me out actually. To be fair, for the English title, which I don't blame him. I'd do the same if I was him. Do you know what I mean? But um, I What's would say fight. if I got nothing else better than yeah, all day. But me personally, I want the British. Um, Denzel Bentley's got the British, and when you look for the rankings, everyone's either tied up or past British level. Say like you Felix Cash, you Bank Williams. None of them are going to fight for the British. Um, Kieran Conway has gone to middleweight, but he's fighting in America. Lionel Shidofia's um lost recently against Bentley, so it's going to be someone else's turn. I think there's Anthony Fowler and myself, really. I don't think anyone else really could... Uh, not above us anyway in the rankings. There's no one else. There's Fowler who's above me. He could say he wants to be British. But well, I'm the English champion now. Do you know what I mean? So if an English champion can't get the British, you know what I mean? Someone else, right? So if, if, that, if they give it to Fowler, I'd say fair enough. Do you know what I mean? He's ranked higher. But it's got to be me, really. I'd think so. What would happen if you fought Denzel Bentley? I'd beat him. 100% I'd beat him don't get me I'll rate him I think he's a very good fighter um, the Udofi fight was a good fight 
But that's how I know I'm at that level because I think I lost on the split decision to you know if he won on the split decision. There's there's a lot of good fighters. I respect him, man. He's a good fighter. Um, but he's got the British title, and that's all I want. So unless he he gives that up, then I'm gonna want to fight him. Does that you've had enough fights now where you can kind of measure yourself against other people in the division, but you still feel like you're being underrated, even though you've been in there with the likes of the Osazi, Eudofia, et cetera. I think so. And, you know, like, especially the Derek win, it's, it's a shame, really, because I know he's still, he's always, he was down in the gym, not, down in my gym not long ago, um, Derek, and he was following uh, Lennox Clark for his fight. And he's on it, man. And I was thinking, you need to go out there and get some wins to make me look a bit better. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I think, when, when he, because he's a serious fighter, and I think when he starts beating these people, who some of them we've just named, then people will give me a bit more credit. Do you know what yeah, I mean? But yeah, yeah. I said to him, "What are you doing, man? You're making me look bad out here. Let's go and get your wins." And then that that master of ours just by him winning. But I think because he's not fought since, then I don't I don't think we get the respect for that. But he's a top fighter, and I, he's still my best win. I know he had these river fights and stuff, but I, I believe um, Derek's still my best win. Yeah. So what do you what do you do in the meantime? Are you are you obviously you've just kind of called out Denzel, but if that fight's not likely, Denzel's obviously two time British, he might want to be moving yeah. upwards. What else have you looked at since the, the River Wilson Bent win on Sky Sports? I've not looked at nothing really personally. I've just said to my management I'd like a shot at the British. Um okay. that's up for them to see if they can yeah, you know, Errol's like in with Frank Warren and stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they can get something working. If not, then I'll have to defend the English. When I, I'm, I'm never, I'm not vacating the English for nothing. Do you know what I mean? So if like a Brad Ray is out there or, or whatever, I think there's um Brad Pauls as well. Yeah, um, good fight, good fighters. Like, like I've rated them both. Do you know what I mean? They're all, and don't get me wrong, they'll be looking at me thinking I'll beat that guy. But that's what makes good fights. River thought he beat me. I think I beat River. Same with Derek. The, the good fights, I thought I'd beat Linus. He got the win. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Close win, right? I still think I won that fight, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> but, you know, this is what we want to do with fighters, man. And, like, two people, too many people there want to fight other guys. But, yeah, you know, I think a lot of people in our way, they will put the staff on the line and fight, fight the people. So, the good fighters, makes good fights. And you move on from there, the may the best one win. Definitely, definitely. Um, obviously, kind of Ben Chris Eubank, just a quick word on that. It seems like it's close, just getting people's opinions. How do you see the the fight going? Because they're both outside of their their normal weight. It's far, I don't know. You are, you know, when you're about to talk about it, it seems good, but you never I never thought it'd be a possibility. Do you know what I mean? But, Maybe like at the end of the careers, but they're both going to do October. They talk about. Um, I I'd have to favour you bank myself, but like it kind of been is an animal. Do you know what I mean? So if you if you're kind of been steam, I can see why you think you beat Eubank, but Eubank's like you got a granite chin and everything. Do you know what I mean? And he's going to be the natural bigger guy. That that would, that would be mine. But I'll, I wouldn't say I'd be majorly shocked if kind of been. Do you know what I mean? But I'd I'd have to. I'd have to back Eubanks. Yeah, that chin of Eubanks is um has been tested and it's it's definitely I there. Like, like, they fought against like Groves and stuff as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So like, I, yeah, it's, I, fan, I fancy Eubank myself. So so exciting! Like just because you <laughs> never expected it to happen. I watched the documentary on that that their dad's fight. The, yeah, the, I think I've seen it before, but yeah, like just the whole backstory and. Having this one there, I'm sure they're both. Can you imagine, like, like I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be pay per view and that, but like everyone oh, yeah. would want to watch it. Like, even like people not even like, like the older generation, probably sometimes you just stop following when your favorite, like yeah. in any sport, your favorite player or your favorite like F1 driver might stop or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So you, you follow that sort of guy, but when yeah. they'll come back for that fight, do you know what I mean? So I yeah. think that the views, like the advertising, the entertainment, the, the press conferences. Everyone's going to be excited for that. That's the thing. I think the average age of a boxing fan is from like 18 to say like 45, maybe. I could yeah. be wrong. Maybe a bit older if if there's other circumstances. But 60-year-olds, 70-year-olds who remember being younger watching that are going to be invested. Like, yeah. it clears a lot of pay-per-view bias. 
He's doing that. I can't think of a bit. Apart from Fury Joshua, I don't think I can't think of a bigger all British fight. Really, mm-hmm. I, I, I can't think of him. No, that's probably true, mate. That's probably true. Um, thanks for your time, though. We've got um, hopefully a good end of the year for yourself coming up. Whether it's on boxer against Brad Ray, whether it's on it's not going to be Heaney, but whether it's against Denzel Bentley on BT Sport. Linus Udofia again. Who knows? Um, would you take yeah. that Udofia yeah. rematch? Oh, uh, that's one. That, that's oh, yeah, I would. I would, but he ain't got a title. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want, like, it's nothing personal. I just want titles. And that's one guy I missed out as well. Um, uh, Amjur Shiraz, uh, he's a top fighter as well. But I don't think, um, I think they're going to move him and Bentley separate ways for a while, didn't they? Uh, and try and build up a bigger fight. But that, that's another guy who's in the way it is a good fighter. But I got like my last four fights have been against undefeated Judofia, undefeated Asazi, and two undefeated Rivers. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll take the fights. It's now in question without me taking the fights. I just want to make it worthwhile now. I've got myself yeah. in a position where I don't need to be taking fights just to take fights. I, I want to do to progress my career. That's it. That's the main thing. Well, yeah, I look forward to seeing it, man. Thanks for your time, bro. Uh, no, it's Andre. It's safe, man.